and welcome to VFX Tutors. I'm Josh and in this tutorial I'll go through how to export our vector displacement maps to be used on our low res model in Maya. So I have our current file open. We have our, our bread that we've made from our previous tutorials. We've scanned it, we've built our low res mesh and we've transferred all our high res details over to our base mesh. So now we need to export our uh, displacement maps or vector displacement maps I'll be using in this case. So the first thing that we want to do is let's go to our geometry subdiv level and let's just bring this all the way down to one so we're at our base resolution. Then if we scroll all the way down and go to export and make sure our export is quad poly texture merge UV coordinates and make sure group is off because we will need to export this mesh again because even though we have um, used our same base mesh model it's probably changed slightly through the projecting the, the high res on top so we will export this again and this will be the one we will use so let's make sure we got it on quad texture and merge and group is off so now we'll go over up to our preferences and we just want to go to our import export and we'll select our export and you need to make sure E flip Y and E flip Z is on because the way the brush works, it works in a, a, I'm not sure why it does it, but um, when you export your maps out, they're kind of flipped. So that's a, a workaround for that. So when you bring your maps into Maya, they are, um, they're already lined up. So that's preferences, import, export, E flip Y and E flip Z, and make sure they're on. Then we need to go to our vector displacement map and let's make sure that our flip and switch is set to 11 and our tangent flip and switch is set to 11 as well. And we can leave everything else as it is. So that's export, E flip Y and E flip Z, vector displacement, 11 and 11 on the flip and switch and tangent. So now what we want to do if we go to our Z plugin and go to our multi-map exporter plug it in multi map and um, it'll probably look like this so we want to select our vector displacement we can do displacement as well but um, for this case we'll just do vector displacement because we've got a lot of these sort of concave and cavity areas and that's vector displacement is great for that so we'll just select our vector displacement and we'll select our export mesh because we want to export this mesh as well so we want to make sure this is, we don't want to export our sub tools because that's our high res, we'll leave it as it is. And you can choose your map size. I'm going to make my map size quite high, so I'm going to have it as 4K. So you can just select 4K here. And then you can have, and flip V should already be uh, selected. If not, make sure that's on. Then we can go to file names here. And you can select on this uh, box here. I'm going to make sure mine's on TIFF. Let's make sure both of these are on TIFF. And then I'm going to make sure, even though I've only got one tile, I just always work in UDIM format now because it's just it's just the easiest way to work. And everyone, even though it's one asset, it doesn't make a difference. It just means it will have a 1001 at the end of the file name. So I'll make sure that's on UDIM. Okay. So we've got our map size. We've got our file names correct. So if we go to our vector displacement map we want to make sure that our subdivision level is zero uh, one sorry because this is our base mesh that we're going to be working on we want to make sure your VD tangent is selected your 32 bit your EXR and your VD S normals is selected so we can do other maps but for this one we'll just do vector displacement because it's pretty much all we need for now um, I'm pretty sure these are the only settings we need to change. We can go into vector if you want to export your displacement map as well and just try that. What we can do if you just have your subdiv, subdiv level one, and this you can have it on adaptive, it may take a bit longer. And these are a lot of settings you have to play with. Um, so I'll probably not have it on at the moment. We're just going to work on vector displacement. But this is usually what I leave mine as. So I have it on these settings pretty much for most things. 
but we will only be doing vector displacement for this. So we should have all that set up now. It's not really much you have to do. So we've got our vector displacement set export uh, mesh selected. So if we select create all maps, and if we go to our file, vector geometry surfaces, and I've already got a texture file. But if you haven't uh, put it in your texture file or make one and I'm going to leave this as it is SD low res mesh and click save and now this will export out the mesh and at the top it will start exporting out the vector displacement uh, depending on how fast your computer this may be quicker or slower but it shouldn't take too much time And it's only taken 45 seconds and that's pretty much it so now our next step would be to bring this into my um, if we bring our export out mesh into my and we'll set up the shading network so we can see our vector displacement so if you like this tutorial hit that like button and subscribe for more like this